So, there's this movie called Shrek. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen it. <laughs> it's a great movie. It's about an ogre who um, wants to get back to Swamp and kind of keep everybody out. Uh, in the movie, he kind of says it, that he's like, once I get my swamp back, I'm going to just build these walls around. You know, keep everyone out. Um, so my quote is, the walls we build around us to keep out the sadness also keep out the joy. So I totally agree with that quote, that building up walls does keep out all the good stuff. And although it's a temporary benefit, it is a downfall in the long run. So some of the things I want to talk about is those temporary benefits of building up those walls, uh, the inevitable downfall of having those walls up, and the fact that maybe one day you'll want to build that doorway to letting some people in. Um, some of the temporary, like I said, the first thing um, is temporary benefits. The temporary benefit is that, yeah, like you'll definitely feel better about not letting anybody else in, just kind of being secluded to yourself and, um, you know, just being alone, not letting people in, just keeping it all to yourself. Um, when I was a kid, I was bullied in middle school, and, you know, people made fun of the way I looked, dressed, kind of just um, all bad news. When I moved to a different city and, you know, going into a new school, those walls were still kept up. I didn't want to talk to anybody, I didn't want to be friends with anybody. I just thought that they were going to just eventually make fun of me. Um, but I did end up making some friends and I let those walls down. Um, those temporary benefits is good for you for, for the time being, but eventually you do want to let people in or bring down those walls. So the downfall of it is that if I would have never let those people in or brought down those walls, I would have never actually met them, would have actually made friends, uh, experienced joy or friendship in any way. Um, and letting people in is, is basically the, the key thing I want to get to. Um, like in Shrek, he eventually meets Fiona, the princess of the story, and he tells her in one of the scenes, basically saying like, oh, you know, maybe maybe one day I'll bring down the wall, you can come and visit. Um, and that's, that's that one thing we, we all want to do eventually is just to let people in uh, into our lives and not have those walls be the one thing that defines us. Uh, thank you. I like the reference to the movie for, for both an attention device and kind of a continuing example that you use during the presentation. Uh, you've got a good transition to the topic. Uh, the quote uh, that you use, kind of, you kind of give us an interpretation of it and say how you feel about these sorts of things. There's an excellent preview of what the structure is going to be. So uh, the mechanical stuff is good here. Um, the, and I also like the personal example that you use it, it, in the first section. Uh, using your own experience to talk about those kinds of walls and how that uh, buries, you know, how you, you maybe stay behind that and, and create some barriers for yourself. Um, the presentation things are all very solid. I appreciate you taking off your hat. Thank you for doing so. Uh, the, I thought that uh, you look at us more that way. Uh, you are engaged with us directly. Um, your voice is pretty effective and you're very fluent while you're speaking. Uh, the energy level is relatively subdued, but it's appropriate for what you're talking about and the circumstances in which we find ourselves. I thought that that was perfectly fine. The only thing that I thought was maybe a little bit problematic was your energy level in the last part of the speech. It seemed like you got to a particular point and it was just sort of like your enthusiasm. I don't want to say it died, but it went down two or three steps and it doesn't sound quite as much like you are into what you're talking about. Uh, at the exit as you were earlier in the presentation. Uh, and I think that's mostly vocal stuff and pacing. All right, thank you.